Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at this bad boy right here. And this is the iStick Tria. So let's take a look. Okay, so here we have the iStick Tria. And this is the box that it comes in. And it says eLeaf. Um, the website for eLeaf World. And it's got your authentication card saying eLeaf and nothing more. On the back, if you want to go ahead and pause this, that's fine. It tells you what the full kit comes with, which is the um, iStick Tria without batteries. It does take three 18650 batteries, one ELO S atomizer, um, two coils. One is a triple um, cylinder and the other one is a quad cylinder, 0.2 and 0.3 ohms. Um, the QC uh, USB cable two user manuals one is actually for the atomizer and one is for the mod itself and then you've got of course your spare parts so that's all that comes with it it is a 300 watt device and yeah so let's go ahead and take a look so when we open it up you're actually going to be getting two things one is going to be your warn warning card this is making sure that your batteries are um very safe that they don't have torn casings or anything like that because that is a hazard and then you've got this card here in this card it's telling you to um, pay attention um, how to put it together basically just make sure that everything's screwed down tight and then it gives you a little bit more information on um, best wattages for the type of coils now this does vary from what is actually listed on the coils themselves but it's almost in the same range and then it tells you your flavor um, purity as well as your vapor cloud and then we've got the start of the show so we've got the mod here this is actually the tank it does come in two mils and four mils it currently has the two mil glass on it um and you can convert it to a four mil which i will show you because wendy does not vape two mils because it's just way too small for me um i just feel like i'm i'm um filling it a little bit too often and that's just not good for my vaping needs i do know that um it does have to be p uh tdb or tpd sorry about that tpd compliant um in some countries so i i do understand the need for the two mil um i think that it's very very good looking i do like the matte black i think that that's awesome so we'll go over that in a second it does come with some extras if you notice it's got this little piece here that's actually the extension so that you can make this from two mils into four and then it comes with some additional o-rings so we're going to need that it does have your four mil glass here let me take that out um yeah i took the plastic off of it so it might just give me a little bit of a problem here okay so there's the four mil glass and it's a little bit bigger compared to the one that does come on it so that you have more juice capacity um and then we've got the usb cable it comes with and it does come in this plastic and of course the point three coil which is your extra coil the point two is installed already I'm going to take this out with the mod. You've actually got, just like eLeaf, one thing I like about eLeaf products is their manuals because they do send you two separate ones. You've got one that's just basically for your tank and it does have like the easy how to assemble, how to put it together. It shows you the pictures of how it goes together, how to fill it, which I think is very, very um, useful, as well as their very detailed manual for the mod itself. It'll tell you everything. Um, including your wattage and um, temperature control and all that and the best part about it is that it tells you about the properties so if you got any of these warnings on your mod for any reason it'll tell you the reason for those warnings which I think is really really great so that's the manuals I'll just put this back get the mod out so I can show you that and put this stuff back in and move that over okay so Let's go ahead and look at the tank real quick i'm going to zoom in a little bit okay so again this is the two mil tank it does have a removable drip tip but it is one of these drip tips that you actually have to get one that's like a cover on it um honestly i love um accessorizing my drip tips so this would probably not be um something i would enjoy because i can't switch it out but i've got a um drip tip person that I'm going to actually talk to uh, to see if he can actually make these drip tips because I'm pretty sure he can. Um, it does have the airflow which are is on stoppers. Whatever you do to one side will do it to the other. 
This is actually the bottom where it shows that it is an E low S coil by E leaf, and then it's got your warning on there, and um, then your um, 510 pin there. And to fill it, there's actually this little it's kind of hard to see because it's black like a little drip, um, like a liquid drip mark. If you push that back, that actually opens it up and it's very wide so you can use like a dropper on it or a unicorn bottle so that i like i love the fact that you know you don't have to worry about that so yeah so we're going to go ahead and take this apart and we're going to actually convert it to the four mil glass so to do that you are going to just unscrew the bottom and once you unscrew the bottom you can see that the coil is right there this is the triple core uh the triple coil that i told you about um and then there's the coil information there. It says E-Leaf, and then it tells you your recommended wattage is from 50 to 130 watts, which like I said, is a little bit different than what the um, paper said that came with it. And then this is the triple cylinder and the HW3. So that's the coil. It does, to change it out, all you do is you just unscrew the coil, and that's the base. And then you just screw the next one in. So there we go just put it in like that now when you do take this apart this little o-ring we do need on the bottom base so we're going to put that back on here because we're going to be switching out the glass i'm just going to press it in make sure that it's all pressed in there we go so that'll avoid any leaking and then we'll go ahead and take off the glass again the o-ring does need to go back to the top I like the fact that it does stick to the glass because that means that there definitely will not be any leaking because it's so press fitted. So just go ahead and put that on there. Got that back on there. And then that's the inside of the chimney. And then we're gonna take this little part and we're gonna extend it. So I'm put this two mil glass over there. Let's go ahead and get that extension piece out. Go. Oops. Don't want to get the O-rings, just that. Okay, so we'll take this out. And then all we need to do is just screw this right in here. I'm oh, sorry, wrong way. Screw this in here, I'm trying to do it on the camera. It's not good. Screw it in tight. I want to make sure it's not loose. There we go. And then you would just put the glass on. There we go. Nice and press fitted right there. Everything's on. And then you're going to screw this in. Um, what I'm going to do is actually go ahead and prime up the coil before we do that, that way it can sit and get primed up because you do not want to vape it as soon as you pour the liquid in. You do want to prime your coils. Priming your coils, what that means is that your cotton, just like on an RDA or another atomizer, an RT or whatever, you always want to wet the, co the cotton a little bit. Um, that way it starts getting moisturized and that way the juice is going through properly and it produces the vapor. So we definitely want to go ahead and prime up the coil and what I'm going to be using is this bite. It's um, main. It's pineapple, orange, and guava. If you haven't seen my review on this, you have to see it. This stuff is yummy. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. What I'm going to do is just go ahead and wet the coils. Not drench them, but just wet the cotton in here. So we can go ahead and prime that up. And if you notice, it's just wet, but it's not soaked. I didn't like pour it in. And then I'm just going to wet the cotton on the outside as well to help it along. And that's it put that on there that's all I did and now I'm just gonna screw it back together and then we'll fill it and let that sit while I talk about the mod so screw that together okay that's on there and then we're gonna find the little drip mark which is right there and scoot it back and just go ahead and fill this up these chubby bottles sometimes are just oh. If you don't hold them a certain way, they don't fill up very fast. But I'm going to go ahead and fill that up. Got that going. And I'll leave a link to this juice down below as well, just in case you haven't seen my video, as well as the link to my video at the end of the video. So I'll go ahead and put that right there. Put that aside, and let's go ahead and look at the mod. So here's the mod. Let me zoom out just a little bit. Okay, this is the mod. It is all black, so it might be a little bit hard to see, but I'm sorry about that. Okay, so it does say E-Leaf here. has nothing on the back. It says I stick tree, Tria here. 
and then you've got your display, your up and down, your USB, and then your fire button is here. It does have a spring-loaded 510 um, here and the battery door. This has got your little warnings and it's got really great ventilation. I really like this. It's venting all three batteries. And again, this does take three 18650 batteries that do not come with it. And you just push it up, pull it back, and there are your batteries. It will tell you exactly right here how to position your batteries. It's numbering them one, two, and three. So this would be one, two, and three. Um, this will be negative up, negative up, positive up. And then what I love about this is that they they go in so easy. They're very, very smooth to go in. There's not like, you know, pressing or scratching or crunching, which I've had some mods that, that have done that. So you look in there, it's really nice and clean. It does have um, the battery indicators down below as well. You've got your positive down, positive down, negative down. So here we go here, put those right back. Okay, so we got positive, negative, negative. And then all you do is sort of like um, the Rouleau, not the Rouleau, um, I, think it, I forget what mod it was, but you just press it down and then push it back and it'll hook right there. It's got little hooks there. All right, so once you put in the batteries, it will turn on. This is a 300 watt device, so it does go down as low as one ohm, and it goes all the way up to 300 ohms, and it scrolls pretty fast if you're holding it down. Um, to go into the menu options, you can, um, well, let's go through this one first. It does have your three battery indicator here, so it's gonna show all three of your batteries. Just zoom in a little bit. All three of your batteries here, so that way you know how they are. That, of course, is going to be your resistance, your voltage, and there's your puff counter. Okay, you then to change your puff to amps or whatever, just press your up button and your fire button at the same time. And then it'll flash, and if you press your up or down, it'll change from seconds to amps back to puffs. We'll go ahead and leave it on seconds. And to select, you just press your fire button, and it's selected. To go into the menu, you're going to press three times, and this is going to take you to your menus. This is wattage. You've got temperature nickel, temperature titanium, temperature stainless steel, and you've got your M1, M2, and M3. Um, to change your, let's go ahead and select stainless steel, which is one of my favorites. Um, select that, and then once you're in here, this um, the temperature does go from 200 watts, I mean, 200 degrees Fahrenheit to 600 degrees Fahrenheit, and it goes from 100 degrees Celsius to 315 degrees Celsius. And I do like it that it does round robin, so it will just go ahead and go over to Fahrenheit and Celsius if you just hold down your button. To get into your wattage in temperature control, if you click the fire button four times, oops, uh, four times, not five, it will take you over here. This is actually your wattage in stainless steel mode. We're going to go ahead and reduce that a little bit. Oops, I changed over. Okay, so we'll go ahead and reduce that because I don't want it at 300 watts in temperature control. So we'll go ahead and bring it down to maybe like 80, 85. So we'll go ahead and reduce that. Uh, we'll go to 85. There we go. And then just select your fire button and now it's at 85 watts in 403 degrees fahrenheit stainless steel for temperature okay, control to go back we're going to click it three times and then we can select wattage again i'm just going to go ahead and there and to select it go ahead and press your fire button so we can go ahead and reduce that now um it does have a key lock feature so if you press and hold your up and down at the same times it will lock the keys that means that you can't press up or down it will not change anything but you can still fire the mod um to unlock it just do the same thing press and hold your up and down and then it's unlocked okay then let's see what else do we have we've got if you press your down and your fire we've got stealth mode i'm not sure why anybody would want it in stealth mode but there's stealth on and then we can turn stealth off Okay, so we've got that. Now, um, while it's actually turned off, let's go ahead and turn it off. One, two, three, four, five. While it's turned off, if you hit the up and down, it will actually flip, rotate your screen. There it is, it's now the other way. 
and then to turn it back just do the same thing and I will take it back this way um, if you hit your down and fire you can actually um, look at your voltage and that is per battery so um, you can actually see which battery has what voltage on it um, let me do that again so you can see it because it kind of turned off fast so it's got all three of your batteries there and it's showing the voltage of each battery and then if you press the up and fire you're actually going to be able to get into your m1 or memory settings so you press and hold the up in that and then there's your memory one and then memory two press the fire memory three and then you're back to power so that's how you do that um let me see oh the usb i do want to talk about this oh i'm sorry it's got the time on time off i honestly don't know let's go ahead and change that let's see no let me oh usb off i want to go back to that one okay time let's go ahead and okay this is actually um how long you would be able to hold um your screen so your screen it will turn off on two seconds there you go usb you can turn that on or off what this is is that, um your device can actually become a power bank um, if you turn it on and you've actually got the RC adapter plugged in here, you can actually charge your phone, charge another mod, you know, you can charge different things. So yeah, so that's the mod in itself. So let's go ahead and take a look at another thing. This is actually a 28 millimeter Addy. And it will go up, you can actually put on up to 28 millimeters. It does not have any overhang here, but it does have just the barest, I mean, literally barely anything right there on both sides. So you can go all the way up to a 28 millimeter Addy. Um, if you go any higher, you will have um, a little bit of overhang. For instance, this is the um, Elite V2 by Armageddon Manufacturing, and this is a 28.5 millimeter RDA. And if you notice, it does have a little bit right here on the front as well as the sides you can kind of see it right there but it, so in my opinion it will go up to a 28 with no problem so if you've got something that's a 28 millimeter no problem anything bigger than 28 millimeter you will be having a little bit of overhang so let's go ahead and put on our tank that came with it and look how sexy that is I think that is really sexy zoom out that is very, very sexy right there. So let's go ahead and go on top and we'll go ahead and have a vape. Okay, so here we are back on top. Before I talk about anything, I'm gonna go ahead and have a vape and uh, let you know my thoughts. I currently have it at 84 watts and this is the 0.2 ohm coil and it's actually coming out to a 0.22, so that's good. Um, it's still in the range. I do have the airflow wide open. I do like a lot of airflow. And um, I wanna go ahead and try to chain vape. I just wanna see if this will get um, a little bit warm or not. So let's go ahead. It's not getting warm. I love that about this. It's not getting warm at all. Um, yeah, this is, that's a definite plus for me. Um, the ones that I don't like are like, um, which a lot of people do are like the baby beast or the TFV8 and things like that. To me, they get a little bit too warm when you're chain vaping and I do chain vape. So that to me matters to other people. It won't matter so much. Um, that's just my personal vaping preference. Um, let me see. I'm trying to think of what else to tell you about this. Oh, the way it holds in your hand. At first, I was like, it's square. It's like gonna be weird. Um, I love the the Rouleau um, RX200. That was one of my favorite mods. And it felt heavy. And it had three batteries and it felt heavy. This does not feel heavy. But then again, I'm used to you know carrying LiPo batteries. But I like the feel of this. I like how it fits in my hand. Um, I do like to fire by my thumb so that I can see my screen, but that's just my preference. If you do fire by your finger, it still holds really, really good. Um, if you lock your keys, you can make sure that you don't um, by accident change your wattage or anything like that. 
I do like the flavor on this. I know exactly what this tastes like. I actually did my review. I told you the pineapple orange guava and yum. It tastes just as good in here. I'm actually gonna turn it up a little bit more because it does say that it goes to higher wattages. So let's go ahead and take it up to, uh, we'll go to 97. Well, let's go ahead and have a vape. The flavor is even better. Flavor is even better. Okay, pros and cons. Pros, I love the menu. I love the menu, it's very easy to use. I love that you can um, change your wattage and temperature control, that to me is very big. I like to, to be able to choose my own ramp up time um, in temperature control, so that's great. Um, I love that it's got the three battery indicators and just instead of just one battery indicator, um, so you know if they're dying or if they're dying evenly. Um, I love the feel of it. I really do. I think that I would even use this for like my RDAs and things like that. Um, I really like the feel of this mod. This is one of those that I'm like, yeah, it gives me power. So yeah, <laughs> I like that. Um, I, like I mentioned below, I'm not a fan of the drip tip, um, but I'm sure that I'm going to check with my drip tip guy and see if you can um, change them out. And if so, I'll leave his information below and you're more than welcome to contact him um and see if he can make a drip tip for you if you want to change it out it is a very comfortable drip tip though it it's not exactly like fully like straight up it does have like a little curve to it like it fits good in, in your mouth basically <laughs> another pro if you have that rc it's called an RC adapter. Yeah, RC adapter. You can use this for a power supply for to charge your phone. I think that's awesome. I'm actually going to look into the RC adapter afterwards to see like how much they are and things like that because I'd really, really like to get into it. This kit is very inexpensive as well. You can buy the mod itself. Um, I think the mod is like under $40. I'll be leaving the links to everywhere that you can get them below in the description. Um, for the description, if you're on a cell phone, to the right there's like this little arrow thing. If you click on that, it'll drop down and you can actually view all the description. If you're on a computer, it usually says see more and then you can see everything. Um, I love that it's got three batteries. The reason being is because I hate changing out batteries. So I, I need something that'll last me all day. Three 18650s definitely last me all day. Two, most of the day. So I do like that. I like that it's not too heavy. Um... I like that you can change it to the four mil, but a con is I really wish it was a little bit bigger. Four mils is good, but I really like, you know, like six mils or five mil um, capacity e-liquid um, for e-liquid. Um, that's about it. That's, that's it. Um, charging your phone is freaking fantastic. I think that that's awesome. So I'm definitely going to look into that. So if you like my review or my video or whatever, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments about this device or any other um, information that you want um, or need, please leave it down in the comment section below. You can follow me on all my social media. The links are also down below. And if you're on Facebook, please um, find me. Um, I've actually got a Wendy Vapes Hangout group that um, I did start um, out of suggestion from some of my subscribers and followers. So please come over. We do, you know, we've got people in the group to help you if you're new to vaping, new to building, things like that. So it's a really, really fun group. So I'd love to see you all there. And yeah, if you, if you need anything else, you know where to find me. And until the next one, bye.